Hey guys, oh my god, I literally just woke up and I was so excited to come on and talk to you guys that I didn't even look at myself in the mirror. Um, so yeah, I bet you didn't expect me to come on a video like this, looking like this, but I was just so excited to get this video started that I couldn't wait, okay? I just couldn't wait. So the purpose of this video, the point of this video, is that we are doing my bed, redoing my bedroom. You guys don't know, I'll give you guys like a brief little uh history i've lived in this actual condo it's a two-floor condo with my mom for around two years and then she moved out and she got her own place leo come say hi say hello say hello hi sorry i got leo bone and made my coffee um where was i so my mom moved out and then she obviously when she moved out took all of her furniture she offered to leave it for me and like her get new furniture but i didn't want the vibe of furniture that she had so i was like thank you very much i appreciate it but you could you could keep all of your gray furniture because my vibe was gray like if you guys remember from the very beginning my walls were dark charcoal like i was i loved gray but i was also into like the the crystal chandeliers and like the silver accents which i'll show you guys why i'm in such a dilemma with those choices i made in my life my like dining room living room area is not big but of course but it's done i can't do much to the kitchen because i don't own this place the only room that i hadn't like redone was my bedroom so i was like and like it kind of just had like a bunch of stuff like thrown into it um, meaning like I had my old side tables my old bed like I've never owned my own bed I don't know if anyone can relate to this but I've had like hand-me-down beds which is kind of gross now that I think about it I've had like hand-me-down beds for my whole life so I've never like gone out and picked a bed for me I wanted to redo the room and it all started when I was in Niagara Falls and there was a bigger bed like I had a double bed and it was fine for just me but like when my boyfriend was there like it was just too small like too small, too short, it was a really weird bed. Because I needed a queen size bed, I needed a new like headboard bed thing. So I found one of those and like you'll all see that when it all comes in. They're coming in at the beginning of next week. And so it kind of just inspired this whole room renovation. And I really think it's good because that room never inspired me like i never wanted to be in there it, my living room i love being in because it's pretty it's calming so the initial vibe i was going for for this room was like kind of like my living room like black white with plants and like earthy tones and it still is like that but from what i picked up i've kind of steered into a more nude luxurious kind of vibe which is why i don't know if the rug that i picked up i bought this jute rug which you guys will see i don't know if it's gonna go with the vibe but we'll see so i don't want to talk your guys's ear off i think we should just start getting into showing you guys what i picked up for the room so far what i got so the first thing i want to talk about is the mattress because it was the first thing i got i don't like memory foam mattresses i don't know why everyone freaks out oh my god that sounded so canadian i don't know why everyone freaks out over memory foam i find it so hard and, and uncomfortable i really don't know like my sister has a memory foam mattress from Andy, and i never thought it was comfortable so i went on wayfair and i like looked up every single bed possible it feels like and i read all of the reviews and i went with this one which is actually right now in my living room because i have to find a way to get rid of my old mattress which is upstairs still in my bedroom so my house is just in the absolute state so i got it in two days ago let me show it to you guys do not judge me and the state of my living room. The bed is literally like in the middle of the living room with Leo on it. Hello. Hello. Um, but as you can see, like it's very, very soft. I don't know if I can take this off. It's like, so it has like a pillow top, which makes it super, super soft and plush. And like it came all nice in a box so it's like a box mattress but it's not a hard memory foam one and i believe it, the queen size was around five or 5.99 so that was less than all of the other mattresses that i was looking at from other brands i could not be happier with the mattress like i really couldn't buying a mattress online is so freaking scary like i've never even bought a mattress alone let alone one i couldn't feel so you have to really go based off reviews and know what you like i do really recommend this mattress if you like a plush soft cloud mattress so now let me show you guys what i picked up yesterday because it's kind of like steered me in a direction and if you're redoing like a living room or a bedroom i would like not settle like 
I was gonna settle on a headboard and like it just didn't really make me excited And then like as soon as I found the headboard that I got like I knew it was for me You'll get a feeling it's kind of like love at first sight So I got the headboard this one right here I'll show you guys what it looks like when it comes and I also got a jute rug Which I don't know if it's gonna go with the new vibe of the room So then I went to Ikea yesterday and I picked up a few things I want to get rid of all of my old sheets or like I don't even know do people want old people's sheets like well, not old people but like people's old sheets so I picked up this um, these sheets I don't know if I'm gonna like them because they look like a little silky but I just really like the nude color with like a white duvet I thought that would look really good um, and then I got all of these for like the little holes in my closet if you guys don't know I have the Pax closet and I got all of these to fill in all of the holes. Sorry if you hear my ice machine. Then I got these curtains because I wanted, I have gray curtains in there right now and I just wanted just like white curtains to look very like bright and open because the room is very small. I forgot to mention that. And then I got these little things to add in like the black um, details to hold the curtains back. I got these things for my office filming room. My office and my filming room, sorry. I got these two pillowcases, which are like the big pillows, because I have the inserts and I have like a gray velvet pillow on the outside. It's like a really pretty cloth. One thing you want to do in a room is mix a lot of different textures. I feel like people think that in order for a room to look good, you have to kind of like have like a flow, but it actually looks really good if you have like this like more clothy linen material and then you have velvet. So um, yeah, I got those so far. I ordered a few more on Amazon that I'll show you guys when they come in. I got two of these candles because they're my favorite and they're so inexpensive. They remind me of what my cousin's house used to smell like and so that's why I always pick a few up when I go. And then I got this basket. The color of it is really nice. I think I'm gonna either get put my plant in there if I do end up getting a plant. And if I don't end up getting a plant and I end up getting like pompous leaves, I'll end up putting like my blankets in there and creating like a really fun little nook. So then I went to HomeSense, Winter's HomeSense, and I found these babies right here. And like, this is the thing what I mean. Like I was looking at all the lamps cause like the lamps I have right now just wouldn't go with my room. And none of them made me excited. Like they're all like, yeah, I guess that could go. And then like, if you guys know me, my table is marble. I love marble and I love nude. Nude, but like, obviously it's my favorite color. So this is like a nude marble. The only thing I don't love is the lampshade. Like I think I might end up switching it out to like a smaller rectangle or like, um, a square, but I got, I just loved, absolutely love like the gold detailing. They were $150 at Winners. And then I got a few decorations for my living room because I got this. So this, I got this stand at Structube. Again, don't mind the huge bed. And I kind of just took things around the house except the few new things I'm gonna show you. This stand really brought the whole living room together. Got this crystal, it just looked really pretty. The color was like the most delicious blue. Apparently it's a calcite, which is a protecting and grounding stone. It can help bring inner peace and promotes creativity and imagination. I put it on my Dior book, which I also got at Winners, which was hella expensive. Got this Tom Ford book on Amazon, again, stupid expensive. And I put these white crystals, um, which were $11 for three on top. I don't know, again, what they are, but I just thought they were pretty. If we scoot down, I got this marble ball, handcrafted in India. Okay, so this is what my bedroom has kind of just looked like. I just took what I had in my old room and put it in this room. And sure, it looks fine, but it just like is so not me anymore. Like it's it's kind of me, but it just it doesn't make me happy. I want to get like a narrow console table for like right here and then like hide these wires under like those little wire hiders. These walls are like um, a cool white and I think I might want to paint them to be a warmer so white. I cleaned out most things from the bedroom. I put the curtains up but I don't like them at all. First of all they go way too long and then <clears throat> they're also not like thick enough so I think I'm going to put these downstairs instead because I do really like the material but they're just not thick enough for me. Put like the throw and these are like the pillow covers, which I really do love. It even looks good with my old bed. These are the lamps, and I took these from another part of my house, which I honestly might just use those. I'll have to see. Everything works itself out. And then here I put this little basket, which looks really cute. I'm gonna go have some breakfast, and I think I'm gonna go hit the shops and see what I can find. If there's anything so I don't have to order, because I don't know why. Normally Wayfair ships are really quick, but everything I want is like, it's gonna come February 20th. And I'm like, mm -mm, that's not gonna work. 
So I'm deciding, this one's a little too gray. Thinking about this one. Okay, so I got the blinds. I like that there's like a little bit of a pattern to them, but like it's not too noticeable. And now I'm at Structube, my favorite place in the world. Okay, so for the 50th time this week, we're going to Home Fence. I've been loving these baskets. Oh my god, this poor baby. This is so pretty. If it was like a nude, I would totally get that. It's a little bit too pink for me. I'm looking for a piece of art for above my bed. But I'm like the pickiest person. Hello. Okay, so it is the next day. Yesterday kind of got thrown off um, a little bit. I wanted to get so much done, but it was my mom's birthday. So we had a really nice night with her. And yeah, I'm having my morning coffee. I got these flowers from this company called L'Amour des Fleurs, which is like one of the first people to do like boxed flowers. They're these white roses in a marble little flower box and it says Tony on it. So those are probably gonna end up going into my bedroom. I originally wanted to get flowers for the top there. You see where those roses are? That flower arrangement my sister actually made. Um, she got like the glue at Michael's and then put the flowers in, which crazy. She did that like so long ago and I still use it. I mean. It's not my favorite, I just haven't found something that I like better. I kind of like laid everything out. I did hang the curtains up, which I mean, they're not my absolute favorite curtains, but they'll do. They're way better than the ones from Ikea, which were just like way too long and not thick enough. And then I also had to plaster some holes on the wall. There weren't holes, but like, I don't know what happened. The wall started like melting away last time I painted. I was plastering and sanding and everything yesterday, so it's all fixed up. Okay, so my mattress arrived. I was, I'm not my mattress, my bed. I got it up this far, but it's so freaking heavy. I think I popped a kidney. Hey guys, so it is Monday. I got in the rug and the rest of the bed. The bed came in two boxes. So I ordered a dude rug and it seems to be like a little bit bigger. I'll see how it looks, but like I just wasn't expecting it to look like this. I thought it was like smaller and the reviews made it look smaller. I don't know, this looks like a basket. It's just like not what I had hoped for at all it wasn't too expensive but like it's just not <laughs> my vibe i just made my um favorite breakfast at the moment which is some um, iced coffee and this it's really good it tastes like a caramel caramel i don't know i said that's so weird caramel latte this is the carpet it's growing on me i just don't know if it's my vibe it's a little bit lighter in person leo's absolutely loving it it is lighter than what it seems like here but it's darker than i would have wanted there is a rug at Ikea that I saw that would go perfectly. So if this doesn't go, I might um, like give it to my sister. It's growing on me. I just was, wasn't really expecting it to be like this big of a, of a pile. I feel like I haven't worn makeup at all in this video. And I, I guess that just really goes to show that I have it fully been working on this project for like a week now. It's crazy because most like... I feel like this isn't very exciting video to watch because a lot of the stuff and a lot of the time I put into, you know, decorating this room is really me researching stuff online and like spending hours and hours to find the right nightstands and the right bed. But we did make some moves yesterday. So um, let me show you guys what we have so far. So the carpet is in. I do wish it was like a little bit of a smaller jute look and maybe a little bit lighter but for now it's okay i definitely like it with the carpet a lot more i feel like it just brings the whole room together oh yeah and we made the whole bed so it looks really good before i decided on a vibe for the room 
I bought this black bed and like knowing the vibe now I might have bought like a different color bed like maybe like an ivory or like a beige or a nude but I do like the contrast that the ba the black gives and also it's like makes it a little bit less feminine hi I'm coming from the future I realized that I never showed you the actual bed like up close it's really really pretty it has this like it reminded me kind of being like a little bit retro maybe it's just a style or it could just totally be making that up but it's a really pretty black velvet the quality is honestly really really nice and what i like is that you don't need a box spring for your mattress so i highly recommend it they also have it in gray ivory and i think those are the colors and it comes in a bunch of different sizes but i was just like really wanting one of these beds that have this on it you don't really like it looks like there's dust on it but i don't know why my camera's making it look like that it doesn't really show that in real life these side tables are really throwing me off i put the mirrors from my hallway here to test out the vibe and i really like it like i said i'm obsessed with these lamps they look so good i'm so happy i did buy them but i got these light bulbs from amazon and they are the perfect color i'm so picky about that oh my gosh did i ever want these nightstands from Restoration Hardware. I was this close to ordering them. I want to order them because I was like, they're a good investment. I scoured, like when I tell you I scoured the internet for these damn, like anything similar, there was nothing. Like I found absolutely nothing. And if there was, cause I did find some that I liked, they were like just as expensive. So I was like, I might as well just get the Restoration Hardware ones. But then I went to order them and they were only going to ship next month. And then I was like, scratch that. When I buy a house and I'm furnishing like for a long period of time because I'm renting my condo right now, I'll invest in like a really expensive uh, nightstands and like more expensive furniture. So the nightstands are coming tomorrow. So I'll let you guys know. I'll show you guys them when they come in. I hope I'm praying that they go. If not, I'll just return them and I don't know what I'll do because nightstands are way harder to find than I thought. Hello, this mirror's not staying, but I just have it here because I don't know where to put it right now. And then I took this plant from downstairs in my living room to get the vibe to see if I want another plant in here because that was like the initial idea. And I just have it in the basket from Ikea. I really have my heart set on pompous grass, so I don't know, I might hold out on buying a plant. And then for under the TV, I need to get those things that keep the wires all together and nice because that i hate how that looks it looks terrible and then i want to get like a console table for under just so it doesn't look as like random you know having a tv i don't know why i'm so out of breath that's the update as of now um i wish i had more for you i also have to figure out what art i want for above the bed i really don't know I don't want to have like two pieces of art or three pieces because then it's going to be like mirror, art, 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 mirror, you know? And I need to get new, I need to get like eventually, well, I'm going to go pick up new um, outsides for these things. If it was like my own house, I'd change these to gold because I just love gold details. Do you want to get new bedding? This is like a really old bedding. A tip to make your bed just seem like way more like a hotel and more luxurious is to fold it over like this and then um, you want to get as many wrinkles out as possible and my biggest tip is to use this wrinkle releaser it's the best thing ever okay so my nightstands came it's a snowstorm outside so I was not expecting them to actually get delivered but they got delivered. They, I don't know why Wayfair just leaves things at the front door. They don't even like ring the doorbell or anything. So I checked and here they are. So let's open them up and see how they are. I carried these all the way up the stairs myself. They weren't that heavy, but they look like they're gonna be pretty big, which I'm happy about. I was scared they were gonna be too small. <sighs> I just had, don't mind all my pillows on the ground. I fell asleep on the couch last night and like threw them up in my sleep. Leo's going crazy because it's too cold for him outside. So he has all this energy. So yeah, let's open it up. I don't even know how I'm gonna open up these like big metal things. They're like huge staples. Do you like my really fun outfit? Fragile corner. I'm a little bit scared that it's gonna be broken. I'm excited to see the color because I didn't really, couldn't really tell what the color looked like. It seems to be packaged pretty well. There's like a ton of 
styrofoam. It's probably an easier way for me to do this. I ordered gray um, ash beige. These are the side tables. I would have liked if they were a little bit more warm toned and less like gray. However, for the price I paid, I'm actually really, really happy with them. The quality of them is really nice. They're around $200 Canadian and they came in two days. So I'm really happy with them. It is coming off a little bit more gray on camera and I might get some gold handles to switch these two to kind of like increase the gold tones in them or like the warmer tones i have to hang these mirrors on the wall or like decide if i'm keeping these i have to get art so quickly the rug the bed the mattress and the mirrors are from wayfair these really pretty nude marble lamps are from winners i don't know the actual brand of them okay so i actually found the tag of the lamp you'd think i would Thing to look but she made me take it off in the store so i guess i just kind of forgot about it so it's by jamie young i looked it up the lamps <laughs> i couldn't find the exact lamp but this is u.s pricing and can in canadian it's like 800 something it's not the exact lamp oh my god my computer's so dirty it's not the exact lamp but it's the same brand so yeah i paid um 149 for the lamp so definitely check out winners or Home goods. I got a DM saying that one of you saw it at Home Goods. So yeah, I was shocked, but not really. They're really pretty. I just wouldn't pay that much for a lamp. And then those are from Wayfair as well. I ideally would like to get like a gold mirror, like a really pretty gold mirror, but I'm having the hardest time because none of them shipped to Canada. I don't know where my fabric softener went, but I had an empty Winex bottle and I just put some water and fabric softener and it works just as well. So wrinkle releaser is like a little bit harder to find in Canada, but if you wanted to make your own, it does work. So there you go. So I set up the other side. I'm really happy with them. Again, I do want to get gold little thingy-mabobbers. Thingy-mabobbers handles to like tie in the gold but other than that very happy um i'm really happy with how it came out and how much better i feel in this room my old room just made me so anxious like i didn't even want to come up to bed and in this room i just feel so calm and happy and i know it's just gonna get better hope you enjoyed this video as i said everything will be linked down below let me know what you think i should put over my bed i can't put like another mirror or anything there's too many already i'm just going on and on now thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe before you go and i'll see you guys back here next time